We're going to be painting my brand new iPhone 13. Oh no! Some of the paint like seeped through the tape. Oh no, what did I do? It's like seeped in there. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be turning my not so pink iPhone 13 hot pink. We were all a little bit disappointed with the pink that Apple gave us for the new iPhone, so I decided to take matters into my own hands. But I'm not an artist. I'm going to be trying out my DIY skills on some iPhone cases, and then for the finale, we're going to be painting my brand new iPhone 13. Goodbye, pink iPhone 13. Hello, hot pink iPhone 13. But before we do that, let's go get some supplies. Okay guys, the table's all prepped and all the supplies are here and it's time to start on the first step of this customization. I'm gonna test it out on these two iPhone cases first. But first we gotta prime them up because if not, nothing's gonna stick. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this inside, but screw it. Woo, the paint fumes are getting in here. Okay, so these are all nice and prepped. We're gonna let this dry and then we'll get customizing. Okay guys, so let's get some practice in and I have my first iPhone that I'm going to be customizing. And for this one, I wanna do an ombre effect with three colors. I have my three colors here, pink, blue, and green, and we are going to be doing an ombre effect with it. I'm not an artist, I never claimed to be an artist but we're gonna do our best. This is the color that I wanted to paint my iPhone. I'm gonna go ahead and put some pink on the top of this. This is not going on very well. Looks a little bit not good. I hope this is not what my iPhone looks like because this is not looking too hot right now. So far, not too hot. That does not look like the best creation I've ever made, but we're just gonna wing it. Oh no, this is not looking how I thought it was gonna look. Okay, so now to get this ombre effect, I have this little sponge that I'm hoping once I blend it in, it will make like a ombre looking, but I've never done this before, so I'm just hoping for the best. Oh my god, what am I doing? This is not going well for me. I may not be a DIYer, but I can do this, okay? Oh my gosh, what am I, ew, that looks so bad. What am I doing? Oh my goodness. Who gave me, who? Gave me permission to do this right now. This is not how I thought it was gonna come out. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, you can kind of get like a, you get the vibe I was going for, I think. You kind of get a vibe. You're kind of getting the vibes, kind of. What are y'all thinking on this one? I think I might have. I don't know if you guys know what I was going for, but I was really going for like a transition, like a nice smooth transition. You can kind of see what I'm going for like around here. Other than that, this is not going exactly how I planned it. But we're definitely not gonna be doing this technique on my iPhone 13 because that did not work how I wanted to. So let's move on to my next attempt. Okay, our next customization attempt is going to be a very glittery attempt. Glitter is a mess, but we're gonna try our best. Okay, so what I want to do with this one is I want to cover it with this little like clear glaze and then I want to sprinkle some different colors on there and then when you fold it over, I don't know what I'm saying. Just trust the process. What I kind of wanted to do was to draw something and then sprinkle it with glitter and then pour it off and see the design that's left. Let's go ahead and try this out. I don't know what I'm doing. No, it's not gonna work. First we're gonna spray some of this so it will stick. So now that we have it wet, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the colors that we're gonna use and we're gonna sprinkle it on there. Oh my God, this is so much glitter! I'm excited to see how this is gonna turn out though. Okay, so now that we've put the glitter all over it, it's time to flip it and we're gonna see how it looks. Are y'all ready for this? Yeah, <laughs> that is so disappointing. 
so disappointing. I really thought the like more glitter was gonna stick. I thought it was gonna look like all epic. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it looks cool, but like, it's definitely not what I thought it was gonna look like. But we're gonna go ahead and seal up this DIY and I guess call it a customization day. That's our customization for this one. Now, they look so similar. These are our two customizations right now and neither of them are selling me. After all of this wasted glitter, we're done with that DIY. I'm so sorry. I have to. You're just not pink enough for me. You're just not pink enough for me. Okay guys, it is now time, now that we've had enough practice, to actually customize my iPhone 13. Now I don't want to completely destroy it, so we're going to tape up the cameras and tape up the edges. I have to be super careful with this because this is my phone that I'm messing up. If I mess this up, I spent a lot of money on this phone, so this could make or break me. Okay, so I've taped up the camera pretty well. So I've taped up the camera area pretty snugly, but I'm also gonna tape up the middle Apple logo because we do want that to show. We wanna show that it's still an iPhone. Okay, so I found this little clear like tape thing that I put over the Apple sticker so I can trace it. Now hopefully I don't mess this up. Oh crap, I'm scratching the phone. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, after a lot of time prepping the iPhone, I finally have it all taped up, including the Apple logo, so that way we can prime it and paint it. So without further ado, let's destroy my iPhone. Ah, I don't wanna do this. It's time, drum roll please, for my pink iPhone, or should I say white iPhone that we are about to turn pink. Ah, this is not gonna go well, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's just go for it. Oh my gosh, what did I just do? Oh my god, my iPhone 13 has paint all over it. I don't know how I feel about this, but it's done now. <laughs> well, now we're gonna let it dry before we start the real customization. I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna put it to dry. Okay guys, the iPhone is finally done drying and it's time to paint it pink. So this is the pink that we all kind of thought we were gonna get with the iPhone 13. I'm gonna do it myself. Okay, I'm so nervous for this because if it doesn't come out how I planned it, it's just gonna be a disaster. This phone was really expensive and if I mess this up, like, I'm just gonna be so upset with myself because this is my iPhone and I might have just messed it up. Goodbye, pink iPhone 13. Hello, hot pink iPhone 13. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I'm freaking painting my iPhone right now. I cannot believe I'm doing this. I'm just gonna have to pray and hope that this is gonna come out good. Oh my gosh. It's so like thin that I'm hoping that this will turn out good. But this pink is so pretty. It's like a bright pink, so I'm hoping that this will turn out good. I've never painted my iPhone like this before, so this is crazy. I'm crossing my fingers this right now. It does not look that good, if I'm being honest with you, but it's just because you can see all all the streaks from the paint but I'm hoping that if I do a second coat it might come out better so hopefully this will turn out okay I'm starting to think I should have spray painted it because you're gonna be able to see the streaks okay so that's the first coat I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna do a second coat I swear dude what kind of idiot doesn't like the color of the iPhone so they paint it a different color this dummy Okay guys, it is about completely dry and it's time to reveal my iPhone 13. I could not be more nervous because if this doesn't look good, I just, I'm gonna kick myself. I'm literally gonna kick myself. So it's time to take off all the tape. <gasps> oh no! Some of the paint like seeped through the tape. Oh no. Oh no, what did I do? What did I get myself into? No, it looks so bad. What did I do? It's like seeped in there. Oh my gosh, what did I do? I messed up so bad. I did not tape it all the way. I don't know if you guys can see, but I didn't tape the camera all the way and it kind of seeped in. We have our pink iPhone 13. <laughs> I can't believe I freaking did that right now. 
I mean, it looks kind of cool. Other than the fact that we messed up like all of the edge of the camera, at least we didn't get any on the camera, right? The before was like pink. It was pretty, but it was really, really white looking and I did not like it. And all of us expected like a really pink iPhone. So I had to do it for us. I did do it for us and I gave, and I made my iPhone 13 a hot pink. And I mean, it looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like it looks good, except for the camera portion right here. But other than that, like it looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie like but either way guys this was such a fun experience I feel like I kind of messed up my iPhone a little bit Please give this video a thumbs up because I risked my phone so that way we could see what a hot pink iPhone 13 would look like And frankly, I think I liked it better the other way, but you know what it still looks cute And we finally got the pink iPhone that we asked for <laughs> And here it is, our iPhone 13, the pink that we all expected, but we didn't get. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed watching me customize my iPhone 13, please give this video a big thumbs up because my phone is now questy dusty. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.